Welcome to Simply Made Cocktails. I'm Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. And here is a Monday edition for Cocktail Spirit Review. And we're back doing by Joe. If you remember probably about a month or so ago, we were the first ones to introduce to you by Joe Red, which is uh, based off of red sorghum. That's how it's uh, fermented from. It's a, a new classification of spirit. Everybody is used to um, basically the vodkas as a spirit, uh, gin, tequilas, rums. And all those are types of spirits. Well, Baiju is a new type of spirit that's being introduced to us here in the States. We did the Baiju Red review first here. We were lucky to have them send it to us. I then proceeded to ship it out to friends of other cocktail shows. Um, Derek Schomer did his review on both the Baiju Red and the Dragonfire uh, Common Cocktails. And then most recently, um, Pete Herrera from Spirit Cocktails did also his review on both of them at the same time. We chose to sort of just break it up, introduce it to you slowly. So this week, we're going to be doing the Dragon Fire from Baiju. Um, Baiju is uh, the new spirit that's been coming here. It's um, B-A-I-J-I-U, Baiju. And it's the new spirit, and it's the most consumed spirit actually in the world. And we're going to be taking a look at um, some dragon fire. Yes, yes. You so, can also notice that the two different brands, one has a little more uh, of a, a uh, different expression on their face. Yeah. So well, it means one's a friendlier spirit, one's a more serious spirit. Good, thank you. I'm glad you said it. I was trying to describe that. How do you describe something More like serious. Okay. I'm looking from her from behind, so I don't know. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> So we're going ahead. Oh. From I was telling that this is more of a, a, a spicy potent fragrance. So let's see how much I got in there. I can smell the fruits that's involved in here. Whoa. Still gotta put the water in there. Yeah. But you can definitely tell the difference the water, between the uh, just the standard to yeah. the fire. As as, I, as if I recall, the um, the red had more of like a like a almost like a temptation to being sake. Yes. If you're definitely taste more or smell more or a sochu kind of thing. Yeah, you could definitely but, smell more of a fire in here or a different uh, like a spice. Now, the dragon fire um, is like you could say like. You could say like Baijiu Red is basically like like if you would say compare it to say like vodka, it's the the straight vodka spirit, and then Baijiu Red will be considered the infused version of a vodka. So if like if you have let's say Smirnoff vodka and then you have Smirnoff orange or Citron or you know or with vodka, which is also out there, and all those different infusions of vodka and then said it's just straight. So I would consider Baijiu Red being the straight brand, the Dragon Fire being the infused brand. So, therefore, it also has less potency. Yeah, it's 35%, so it's 70 proof. And the Baijo Red is the full 80 proof, just like you would get on a regular straight vodka as compared to infused vodka. Now, is this fermented using rice? No, it's red sorghum. Oh, okay. Yeah, they ferment it from sorghum. The rice is um, sake. Oh, And the sake okay. is a Japanese yeah. spirit. Yeah, yeah. I just I was curious because of the fact that it, if it kind of smells and tastes like uh, sake. Yeah. I get the the straight. So dragon fire, wow. it basically has um, dragon fruit. It has lychee, and I don't think I've ever had lychee before. Mm -hmm. So this may be my first experience. From what I heard, I found it can be a, a dealing with. Yeah. So and then also has some. Um, Acquired peppers, players, acquired taste. and it has lychee and hot chilies on it. So dragon fruit, lychee, and hot chilies. So this is also distilled from red sorghum. You can also smell the the sweet be before you even taste it. It just has this fruity smell. Yeah, that's the dragon fruit. Yeah, I haven't had dragon fruit for a long time, so I don't even know if I can even recall it. Now you can actually eat it straight, the dragon fruit. Yeah, it's so like a regular fruit. It's a fruit. It's an Asian fruit. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, right. so I like I could say I can hardly recall it. So, but yeah, I'm getting a good sensation on it. So let's go ahead and taste it out here. Wow, I taste a little bit of cinnamon. It, it's still a little fruity. 
and it uh, has a spice. It does burn. Yeah. Yeah, I can that's imagine if you're going to go all the way down, yeah. Yeah, that's from the hot chilies. Yes, it does burn. Strong, uh, strong uh, smell of uh, cinnamon. You're smelling cinnamon? Yeah. No, that's the... That's Maybe that's some of the chili or... That's the hot the... chilies. There's some cinnamon yeah. here. Yeah, I know, but it smells like it and it tastes like it. I think that's just what it, how it's mixing with, being infused with... Um, the hot chilies are being infused with uh, the lychee. Yeah, probably. And then that'll make me the lychee, because like I said, I haven't had lychee for a long time. Same with dragon fruit. I don't it's not bad. Not bad, though. It's not bad. I can, it, I can do, see. You do the burn. Yeah, I the feel burn. the burn, and it, it like it, and it has like a falling effect too. It goes down, and then like when it's halfway down, it's gone. Yeah. But it was overall, it's a smooth burn. Yeah. It's not really too grabbing and too no. potent, and it doesn't take effect right away, like on the tongue or in your mouth. Yeah. It, just when it goes down, that's when you can. Not feel the same it. kind of burn like with some tequilas. It's yeah. Not that kind of burn. It's a it's a different burn. Yeah. So I can see this being a, a really good product in a lot of cocktails. Yeah. So it could be moved. And matter of fact, if you stay to stay put to Wednesday, Wednesday we're going to introduce it into a special cocktail, and it's going to be something bloody that we've renamed. Nice. So looking forward to that. Definitely. So this, if you can get it, um, I know you could get. I'll provide the direct link where you could get it. the main, main and the, the simplest way to get it right now is basically straight through Bijo. Uh, go to Bijo.com/shop, and you could buy both these products. You can even, this is how the product actually came, shipped to me. They sent it in this, like, what you would say, like, your to-go package at the Chinese food store. So, even has a little metal handle on top, which is cool packaging. And I think it's great. It's a, this is a great marketing ploy. You can actually buy this packaging by itself, too. So, and then they have shot glasses up there, too, for sale. It's kind of neat with the two different uh, colors right there. Yeah, red for yeah, a nice um, little design red there. and orange for the dragon fire. Yeah. So, basically, um, I think you could get both of these bottles at the same price, uh, and I think the last time I checked on their website, it was like $25.99. Ah. And then you could just, they'll take your order, and then, and it's a secure website, so you don't worry about any of that process. And they'll take your order, and they'll, they'll send the product out to you, no hands, no questions about it. They'll cool. be glad to send it out. This is a great product. This is definitely something that you need to have as part of your inventory, especially if you're basically trying to do mixology and, and try to find different ingredients to mix into recipes, even to take old recipes that may use certain, like, what could be compared to, like, saying vodka and replace this. Instead of using vodka, you can use this. And this is what, it's, it's going to be a, a great replacement. Yeah. And this is a, a great cocktail. Baiju, Baiju, we've been communicating for a while now, off and on, as he steals it. Get back over here, man. You know I have alarms on those things. Oh, yeah, of course you do. I see the uh, tagging right here. Yeah. So, um, basically, this is, uh, a must, I would say, a must-have in your inventory. Just to yes. give you flex that flexibility of different flavorings that you want to add to go with different kind of foods. You could you could, you can mix this with a good steak. Uh-huh. There'll be good company with a good steak. And then, or you could do, you know, a scorch with Chinese food. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good product. At least, give it a try. Yeah, and I'm also looking forward to Wednesday's edition with the uh, mixed cocktail. I could see where you could put this, mix this with uh, different flavors to give it like a, like if you have a more fruity flavor, you can make it like a hot fruit, you know, kind of like add that little bit of chili. So uh, that yeah, should be good. I meant this one right here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's same. They all look the same except for a slight expression change. And the orange and red. Yeah, okay, well that too. <laughs> so, hence the name red and then Dragonfire. Okay. It's more orange as he takes some more sips, so you can tell. So, this has been a review for our friends. We've now considered and welcome them as part of our our crew by Joe, as part of our crew of simply made cocktails. So, we welcome this is our friends at by Joe Spirits. We welcome and try to get it. So, this has been a review for by Joe Dragonfire, a new spirit coming to the states called by Joe. It's a great brand and great introduction to the, the classification of that spirit, and they've done it right. So go out and grab yourself. My name is Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. And this is SimplyMakeCocktails.com. Subscribe to our channel at SimplyMakeCocktails.tv. Uh, like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash SimplyMakeCocktails and all that. And show your support so that we can improve on our you know, mics and audio and our bars and, get, and keep on getting these products sent to us because they're not cheap, especially here in San Jose. No. You know, so 
So show your support at patreon.com slash simply make cocktails. And we, we very much, you could do as little as you want or, and it's monthly or you could stop at any time. Just do one month payment, one flat payment or whatever. So, and we thank you again for watching our review today. Go out and have a great day.